Meet the bride. Good afternoon, ma. Congratulations, ma. You are looking beautiful. Meet the bride. See how beautiful she is. Anything for us? Thank you, my dear sister. I appreciate you. Thank you, ma. Yeah.
and prescribed authority. A loophole of Bola. Epa Mishay Tapia Zifuma.
that I have here into our family, they need to know us, not just knowing KBSC, but knowing our kingdom, where we originate from. By implications, I will speak a bit, very briefly, of our tribe and of our origin after I introduce His Imperial Majesty, and afterwards, I'll run through a list of dignitaries who have graced this very, very awesome occasion. It is a honor to introduce His Imperial Majesty, Oba Dr. Frederick Enitiolorunda Obateru Akiroto, F-I-C-A-F-N-I-N, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Orone Okora Jiga, the first is the paramount ruler, the prescribed authority of Ugoland. He is a natural paramount ruler. And that means by implications that his forefathers had been ruling from time immemorial. I will get to that. He is chairman Yoruba Obas Conflicts Resolution Council, a prominent executive of the National Council of Traditional Rulers of Nigeria. He is chairman traditional rulers of oil mineral producing communities of the state chapter. He is the immediate past chairman on those state council of others, otherwise called traditional rulers. By divine providence, his imperial majesty, his chancellor, on those state university of science and technology, which we are now called Olusegun Agagu University of Science and technology of Kiti Pupa. I may go to say that his imperial majesty is the most decorated monarch in Africa with over 128 certificates, investitures, accolades and awards. That makes him an, in an institution. But I, like I said, I will do my best. I think at this juncture, His Majesty deserves a warm round of applause. It may interest you to know that His Imperial Majesty has an undying passion for education and the academics. He has authored several books and he is the first university graduate to ever so sit on the Ugo Imperial Stool. And he came out of the university in brilliant, flying, absolutely excellent colors. Let's give Kabeshi a big round of applause. I will not go to awards and certificates out of this nation, but I will say His Imperial Majesty owes the Doctor of Business Administration from the Ekiti State University at Ado Ekiti, Honoris Causa, Doctor of Business Administration, Honoris Causa, from Ondo State University, Akumbara Koko, now called Adekule Ajasi University. He holds a Doctor of Science from Odudua University and a Doctor of Business Administration, Honoris Causa, from Leeds City University, Ibadan. His Imperial Majesty is a business mogul. We call him a titan of the ball. He's the founder of over 25 conglomerates spreading all over the world, built to last. He is the founder of Obat Petroleum, Obat Refinery, the Fepsin Group, the Progress Maritime Group, Ocean View Maritime Group, Optin Maritime Group, Eco Oil and Gas, Obat Fisheries, Obat Agrochemicals, Obat Farms, and so on. So many companies, too numerous to mention. His Majesty has raised people, sons and daughters, eminent personalities in all fields of life. Obat Engineering and Construction Services Limited. It's just, the list just keeps going on endlessly. I am a product of KBSC's, uh, 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 I would call it leadership, but nurturing. And so many of us here 
pour our life, sustenance, and our exposure to His Imperial Majesty. Let's give Kabi a seat, one round of applause. However, you cannot speak about a king without his kingdom. Because the root word for the kingdom is from the king. I will speak a little bit about where we are from, particularly for our guests on the groom side to know who we are. We are Ilajeugo. We are the original founders, the owners of the civilization of Lake, and I will get to that. Ugo land at the moment occupies the entire coastal stretch of Ondo State from Abetobo to Oe. We are predominantly fishermen and we are people who are endowed with natural resources, most importantly, crude oil in commercial quantity. Our civilization dates back, and I may go to say that the treaty that the Europeans, particularly the British, entered with us was as far back as 1884. It was not a treaty, but a treaty of friendship and commerce in 1884 at the port of Erano. That is who we are. We are Ilaje Ugo. And where are we from? We are from Ilaife. Our source is from Ilaife. According to the historians, about 3,000 years before the birth of Christ, if they existed. And according to Professor Akinjobi, the eminent professor, he said, if the then was called Ugo Moku, and we are called Ugo Tim today. Our lineage is from Ife, and Osogo Gobamaki, the Orone, that is sitting on the throne today, is from the fourth, his forefathers who ruled in Ileife, even up until the advent of Obidua, but I will not go into that history. The events played out, and by Ifa and Osoi, we were divine to move to the coastal parts of Yoruba land, where we are today, and where we met Oduru, salt, fish, and all other possibilities, which brought the Europeans, the Dutch, the Germans, before the British, and that is who we are. I would round up by saying, His Imperial Majesty has always been first by divine providence in everything. He is the most paramount monarch in Yoruba land, they say, Arabani Baba, Arabani Baba, and it's Ababala Bani Baba in him. Because his forefathers founded the civilization of Yoruba land, which predated that of Egypt and the Babylonians and the Greek and the British, then he is indeed the paramount ruler in Yoruba land. According to the Portuguese archives, they refer to the Olugo as the Pope of the Negro. The Pope, as at then, in their own knowledge, was not just a religious ruler, but he was, he was the entire absolute ruler on the entire world, then known to them. When they got to Africa, they went yet today, Akira Tom, our mommy. I will also be introducing our mom, the Yeyelua of Yoruba land, Olori, Stella, Iyabode, Akiroto, Eshekabi.